Hi, I'm Brian Preer, tutoring high school chemistry. Today's topic is organic chemistry, and in particular, organic chemistry reactions. These are five types of reactions that you'll see more or less only in organic chemistry. Your teacher will need you to either name an organic chemistry reaction or make one based on the name that you're given. And so let's get started. The first is an addition. That's when a double bond becomes a single bond. Here we have two butene. Let's perform an addition reaction. It's called an addition reaction because when, whenever you form from a double bond to a single bond, you have to put in hydrogens. As we do this, we have two free spaces, and we just put in two H's. So C4H8 plus H2 yielding C4H10, or butane. Next is the substitution. That's when you have a functional side group, and it gets switched over for a different one. Let's change butane into butanol. You've got no H here, C4H9OH. And if we bring in chlorine, in a substitution reaction, the OH and the Cl will switch to create chlorobutane. So let's write that out. Chlorine is diatomic, so Cl2, C4H9Cl plus OH minus. We have to balance everything. So chlorines are balanced here, carbons and hydrogens balanced, and now OHs are balanced. And we're all good. So just make sure you've got a balanced reaction. Next, polymerization. That's when carbon chains join. Let's switch everything back and give us butane again. C4H10. Well, if we bring in another carbon chain, let's bring in a small two carbon. That's ethane. What can happen is these two hydrogens can go off, form their own bond to make H2, and the carbons can join. This will create a longer six carbon molecule, hexane. So C4H10 plus C2H6 going to C6H14 and H2. That's polymerization. Next up is cracking, which is the opposite. That's when your chain breaks. You could put your H2 right back into the same reaction and just reverse the sign. Same idea. Break up of a big chain into little ones. Last is oxidation. That's basically when you burn stuff. So let's head all the way back to the beginning and, and go with 2-butene. C4H8. In an oxidation reaction, well, oxidation, you'll need oxygen. Burning usually occurs in oxygen. And then you've got carbon dioxide and water as your products. Whenever you see a carbon compound in oxygen, carbon dioxide and water is what you'll see as products. Okay, all we have to do is balance now. Put a 1 over here, 4 carbons, 8 hydrogens, 2 times 4, and then 2 times 4 is 8 oxygens, plus another 4 oxygens, 12 oxygens, divided by 2, 6 oxygens, we're all balanced, it's all good. To recap, organic chemistry reactions are the kind of reactions you'll see mostly in only organic chemistry. Your teacher will either need you to write out the reaction based on a name, or name a reaction you're given. Addition reactions are when a double bond in an organic compound becomes a single bond. It's the addition of hydrogens. Substitution is when you switch functional side groups, like from a halide to an alcohol. Polymerization is when you join carbon chains. Cracking is when you break them apart. And lastly, oxidation is when you burn a carbon compound plus oxygen, and you always yield carbon dioxide and water. Okay, that's all for now. Good night, Brian Preer. See you next time.